We are here this evening on the instruction of His Excellency the President to do three things, all of us together. One is to commiserate with the members who lost their dear ones and to extend to them support of 5 million Uganda shillings to each of the families who lost their dear ones so that it can support them in the barrier arrangements and other emergencies which they incurred because of the unfortunate incident. Secondly, to agree and undertake to do thorough investigations and produce a detailed report about what caused the stampede and all the attendant and related incidences. And thirdly, to visit the venue where the unfortunate incident happened. I want to thank the members of the media and I want to appeal to you to continue sending accurate messages concerning this incident because it's an incident that touches all of us. We are all parents, we know children perished here, we are all parents and we feel that pain. But even those adults who perished, they are our brothers and sisters. So I appeal to you, members of the press, to handle this delicately and uh, disseminate messages that may not injure further, especially the bereaved. I would like to call upon the members of the security forces to continue to undertake their constitutional role and responsibility of ensuring that the lives and the property of the people of Uganda are safe and secure. And in this unfortunate incident, I call upon you to come out with the report as expeditiously as possible. I'm Stuart Higa from New Vision. Mine is simple. I've heard from Her Excellence appealing to us to report responsibly in regard to this subject matter. Because from the observation I've, I've, I've made, it seems when the pro music promoter paid money here, they left everything in his hands to dictate, of which it is the responsibility of the state to make sure Ugandans are safe. Where were you at that time? Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Mochiri Jamiru. I work with Delta TV. Just want to know from the security, how many suspects do we have for now? Uh, another question is, um, according to the Vice President, um, each person who lost the dear one will get five million. There are families, those who lost more than one person. Are you giving the five million to one person or per family? Thank you. I will now take the opportunity to respond to the other two questions. First one asked by, asked by Stuart Eager of New Vision about due diligence which may have been lacking by the events promoter and I'm looking forward to get that detailed response from the detailed report which I have asked the security chiefs to compile as expeditiously as possible. Second question, Mr. Mukibi of Delta TV. How many suspects are in custody now as we speak? As we speak now, there are two suspects in the cells and many more suspects who have been lined by the police to help in the investigations and to answer questions are at large, but they are being pursued by the security forces. In order to avoid disrupting the investigations, I think it's in order that I don't disclose their names or their identities for both those who are in custody, but also those who are being pursued to help in the investigations. There are another part of the question was, there are families that lost more than one person. The instruction from His Excellency the President is to give to each person who died, the relatives of that person, five million Uganda shillings. Obviously, if a family lost two people, that's double weight, double tragedy, 
And for anyone of an average intelligence and above, it obviously means that that family will be also offered 10 million shillings, for instance. Of course, you cannot buy life. You cannot compare life with anything, not even gold. But for compassion, His Excellency the President feels that it is important to support the bereaved families with that 5 million Uganda shillings.